This video will explain how to set up your MPOP printer using Bluetooth on iOS or Android. For this video, we're using an Apple iPad. Let's start by opening the printer cover by pushing in the cover and releasing. The printer will slide out. Now, let's turn on the printer while holding the red button. A self-test will print. Take note of the Bluetooth info on the small second page that prints out if you are using iOS. On the iPad, click Settings and select Bluetooth. Connect to the MPOP printer. The name will be different than what you're seeing here in this video and can be found on the second page of the self-test next to Dev Name. Dev stands for Device. When successful, it will say connected next to the printer name. Now let's test the printer. Open the App Store or Google Play Store if you are connecting with an Android device and search MPOP. Now download the MPOP utility. Open it and choose Unselected State. It will find the printer, so select it then click Apply. Now select Printer Test and it will print. Don't throw away what just printed just yet. We'll need this in just a bit. This confirms the printer is connected and working with your device. Now click the back arrow at the top left and select Cache Drawer Test and the drawer will open. This confirms the MPOP cache drawer is now working. The MPOP supports many peripheral devices, including an external cache drawer, one and 2D barcode scanners, a retail scale, and a line display. Now let's test these devices. Connect the barcode scanner to one of the USB ports on the bottom of the printer. You will hear a noise confirming the connection. In the MPOP utility, Click the back arrow and then select Barcode Test. Select the barcode from the test receipt that was printed earlier and MPOP will appear in the window if the scan was successful. Now connect the line display to one of the USB ports on the bottom and the screen will light up. In the MPOP utility, select Display Test. You can change the settings and see the results on the line display. This confirms it is working properly. Now connect the external cache drawer to the DK port on the bottom of the MPOP. It looks like a phone line connection. From the MPOP utility, select cache drawer test and the external cache drawer will open. This confirms the external cache drawer is working properly. Congratulations, your MPOP printer is now set up on your device using Bluetooth. As always, if you need more support, please check out our support FAQ at http colon forward slash forward slash www.starmicronics.com slash support slash FAQ.ASPX or call us at 1-800-782-7636 option number three. Thank you and have a wonderful day.